Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, August 7th. It's the 11th week after Pentecost and week 5 in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 78, verse 40 to 55. And a reading from Judges, chapter 7, verses 1 through 18. Now join me in singing the second verse of uh, the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. Nations attend before God's throne With solemn fear, with sacred joy Know that our God is God alone Who can create and can be O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia! How often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. Alleluia! Psalm 78. Please recite it with me. Alleluia! How often they provoked you in the wilderness and greed you in the desert. They turned back and tempted you and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember your strength nor the day when you delivered them from the enemy. How you had wrought signs in Egypt and wonders in the field of Zoan. You turned their rivers into blood that they could not drink. You set all sorts of flies among them which devoured them and frogs which destroyed them. You also gave their crops to the caterpillar and their labor to the locusts. You destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamores with frost. You gave up their cattle to the hail and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. You cast on them the fierceness of your anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble by sending a troop of evil angels among them. You gave free course to your anger and did not spare their lives from death, but gave them over to the pestilence. You struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, but the, fi the finest flower in the tabernacles of Ham, but made your own people go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And you led them in safety so that they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And you brought them to the border of your holy land, even to this mountain, which your right hand had purchased. And you cast out the heathen before them, and divided the land for their inheritance, and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia! How often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. Alleluia! A reading from the Judges, chapter 7, beginning at verse 1. Then Jeru, Baal, that is Gideon, and all of the troops that were with him rose early and encamped beside the spring of Herod, and the camp of Midian was north of them, below the hill of Morah in the valley. And the Lord said to Gideon, The troops with you are too many for me to give to the Midianites into their hand. Israel would only take the credit away from me, saying, My own hand has delivered me. Now, therefore, proclaim this in the hearing of the troops. Whoever is fearful and trembling, let him return home. Thus Gideon sifted them out, 22,000 returned, and 10,000 remained. Then Yahweh said to Gideon, The troops are still too many. Take them down to the water, and I will sift them out for you there. When I say, This one shall go with you, he shall go with you. And when I say, This one shall not go with you, he shall not go. And so he brought the troops down to the water, and Yahweh said to Gideon, all those who lap the water with their tongues as a dog laps, you shall put to one side, 
And all those who kneel down to drink, putting their hands to their mouths, you shall put to the other side. The number of those that lapped was three hundred, but all the rest of the troops knelt down to drink water. And then Yahweh said to Gideon, With the three hundred that lapped, I will deliver you, and give the Midianites into your hand. Let all the others go to their homes. And so he took the jars of the troops from their hands and their trumpets, and he sent all the rest of Israel back to their own tents, but retained the three hundred. The camp of Midian was below him in the valley. That same night, Yahweh said to him, Get up, attack the camp, for I have given it into your hand. But if you fear to attack, go down to the camp with your servant Pura, and you shall hear what they say. And afterward your hands shall be strengthened to attack the camp. Then he went down with his servant Pura to the outposts of the armed men that were in the camp. The Midianites and the Amalekites and all the people of the east lay along the valley as thick as locusts, and their camels were without number countless as the sand on the seashore. When Gideon arrived, there was a man telling a dream to his comrade, and he said, I had a dream, and in it a cake of barley bread tumbled into the camp of Midian, and came to the tent, and struck it so that it fell. It turned upside down, and the tent collapsed. And his comrade answered, This is no other than the sword of Gideon, son of Jobesh a man of Israel. Into his hand God has given Midian and all the army. When Gideon heard the telling of the dream and its interpretation, he worshipped, and he returned to the camp of Israel, and he said, Get up, for Yahweh has given the army of Midian into your hand. After he divided the three hundred men into three companies, he put trumpets into the hands of all of them, and empty jars with torches inside the jars. He said to them, Look at me and do the same. When I come to the outskirts of the camp, do as I do. And when I blow the trumpet, I and all who are with me, then you also blow the trumpets around the whole camp and shout for Yahweh and for Gideon. Here ends the lesson. Let not the needy be always forgotten nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to sing. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Guide us to your eternal dominion, O Shepherd of Israel, for only in you can we live in safety. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.